with the right person, you can do more, become better, and reach heights that you have deemed impossible. Scale through walls, go through fires, fight wars, and face challenges. It becomes much easier to achieve your goals and live your best life. God ordained marriage for a purpose. If it were not important, he would not have established the institution in the first place. But he realized that was a need for partnership and many other things, and that was why he created the first woman. Have you been waiting for so long for a miracle? Are you looking up to God for the solution of your problems? Do you feel like there are some promises that you expect to become a reality in your life? As you step into that relationship, great things await you. You are going to experience the joy of loving and being loved in return. You are going to have happiness and joy in abundance. You are also going to experience peace, one that is beyond human comprehension. Rather than experience the woes and troubles that comes with being in the wrong relationship, all you will experience is the goodness of God. See what the scriptures are saying about partnership. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 12. Two are better than one because they have a good, more satisfying reward for their labor. 10. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, and he has not another to lift him up. 11. Again, if two lie down together, then they have warmth. But how can one be warm alone? 12. And though a man might prevail against him who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. From the above scriptures, we see that there are so many benefits to being in a relationship. First, you enjoy a more satisfying reward for your joint labor. You no longer have to bear the burden all by yourself, and it becomes easier to achieve some things by being with the right person who would help and encourage you. You can exchange ideas and opinions, bring them together, and make something beautiful out of it. According to the law of systems, an individual can never make a whole. God created us to be a part of a whole body that is, the church. The church can still be further divided into smaller units, and one of those units is the family. There are some things that you have previously been unable to do all by yourself, but as you enter that relationship, you will see them coming to fulfillment. That is a given. Another thing you enjoy is the support and encouragement. Everyone at some point will need to be encouraged after being faced with life's challenges. Things would not always go as planned. There will be hitches, days when you are down and are ready to give up, days when you feel depressed and tired. Even the best of men will fall victim to times like this, and that is why God has arranged someone to help you during those times. Even the great prophet Elijah experienced a moment of fear and depression. Just after the great defeat and elimination of the prophets of Baal, he ran for his life because a woman threatened to have him dead. He wanted to die, but God was there to strengthen him and keep him on the journey. Hence, no matter how strong you think you are, you would always need the help of people, especially those that are in a relationship with God. God will not come down himself. He uses people, and that is why he has placed them strategically into our lives, whether emotionally, physically, spiritually, or financially. Your partner should be able to help you up whenever you are down and vice versa. That is the beauty of being in a relationship. You know you are not alone, and when things are not going as planned, there will be someone in your corner either cheering for you to continue, pulling you up when you think you cannot go, and providing the necessary support that you need to move forward in life. You also enjoy companionship in being in that relationship. Companionship is a state of being with someone you love, spending time with them, becoming friends, and having close fellowship with them. God has called us into close fellowship with Him and with one another. We all need a friend whom we can talk to and share our days and experiences with. We need someone who will stand by our side and with whom we can walk the journey of life with. Proverbs 27.17 says, Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. 
to show rage and worthy purpose. Also, Proverbs 17.17 says, A friend loves at all times, and is born, as is a brother, for adversity. You will find a friend in your partner, and even more than a friend, you will have a companion. Then, you will be able to live a fulfilled life that has God's blessing upon it. When God's hand is upon your relationship, you cannot but experience His blessings. You cannot live less than the abundant life that has been promised to all who are in Christ. These are things you will enjoy in that relationship. Favor Esther was a mere slave girl until she was taken into the palace and married to the king. Her destiny and purpose did not open up until she became queen. Your promised destiny and life will begin to manifest when you enter that relationship. God is with you guiding your footsteps to see that you end up where He wants you. As Esther enjoyed favor with the king, you shall experience favor in all aspects of your life. Fulfillment of Purpose In that relationship, you will be able to fulfill the purpose for which God has called you. That is the very essence of life, to be what God has called us to be. In meeting Boaz, Ruth was fulfilling God's purpose for her life. In areas where you have been confused before, you will begin to receive clarity as you walk with that person in that relationship. Love Some people do not experience love until they get into a relationship. God wants everyone to experience love in their relationships, a replica of the love He has shown to us. Perhaps all you have experienced so far has been pain and rejection. Even if you have been hurt before, God is going to heal you as you begin to enjoy love and true fellowship in your relationship. What you have been searching for all this while can be found in that relationship. Sometimes, we want to achieve some things on our own when God has destined for us to get it with our partners. Have no fear whatsoever. The fact that people have bad testimonies in their relationships does not mean you will too. You will enjoy all that God has promised you in that relationship. Although emphasis has been laid on romantic relationship and marriage, it is not limited to these alone. You can enjoy grace and favor by partnering with a spiritual head or associating with particular ministry. It could also be with a mentor or a friend. The important thing is that you are properly guided in that relationship and it is one that the Lord is involved. You will experience God's grace, love and mercy in that relationship. You will live in happy bliss and be fulfilled. Everything you have imagined for your life will come true for you. Even beyond your thoughts and imagination, God will do great things for your life. He will grant you all that you have been promised and you will begin to live according to His plans and purposes. The rest of your life in that relationship shall be the best of it. Remember that the best relationship you can have is first with God. In God, every other thing will fall in place and you will get your promised life. In addition, God will guide and lead you to the right person. He will connect you to your blessings and wealth. He will lead you to one who will give you peace, help you grow, love you, and make your life filled with such joy and happiness that you have not felt before. Your best life is about to begin as you step into that relationship.